Hey, come see us on tour of being Duluth, Georgia, Jacksonville, Florida, Los Angeles, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. So Donald Trump suggests that he's going to release the Jeffrey Epstein client list. He uh, he was on Let That Lex Friedman's podcast. And, uh, well, let's watch it. But a lot of big people went to that island. But fortunately, I was not one of them. It's just very, for, for, fortunately, for uh, for whatever reason, I turned down Jeffrey's invitation, and I don't know why I did it, but I didn't go. So for, that's what it sounds like, right? Isn't that what it sounds like? Watch. But a lot of big people went to that island. But fortunately, I was not one of them. <laughs> it's just very strange for a lot of people that uh, the list of clients that went to the island has not been made public. Yeah, it's it's very interesting, isn't it? Probably will be, by the way. Probably. So if you're able to, you'll be... Yeah, I'd certainly take a look at it. Now, Kennedy's interesting because it's so many years ago. You know, they do that for danger, too, because, you know, it endangers certain people, et cetera, et cetera. So Kennedy uh, is very different from the Epstein thing. But, yeah, I'd be inclined to do the Epstein. I'd have no problem with it. So he's talking about releasing the Kennedy documents, right? That's what he's talking about. Right. Yeah. So I have no problem with releasing the Epstein documents. I don't like the sound of that. I like to hear, yeah, release them. I, I like how he said, he, he says, fortunately, I didn't go. He doesn't say I wasn't invited. <laughs> he doesn't say that's the last place on earth I'd want to go. He just says, fortunately, I didn't go. It's essentially this, he's kind of saying that the reason he wasn't on Epstein's island was because he got he got lucky. It seemed like that's really what it seems like. But a lot of big people went to I that island. Know. But fortunately, I was not one of them. It's just very strange for a lot of people. Uh, by the way, yeah. Trump seems like he's uh, he's taking some kind of uh, a barbiturate. Uh, he he seems to be. Is that a downer? Is that I think like he was trying to slow down to less Lex Friedman? I robot. think I think Lex brings him people down to his sleepy level. The human lithium ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lex I, really is gonna call me. Yeah, it's like he will just they get a little like like oh I did uh, did, I, did did you give me a little morphine when I came in here because I feel a little. The following is a I feel a little Trump. bitch. He was like, but a lot. Yeah. Watch. A lot but of a people. lot of big. People went to that island. A lot of people. But fortunately, I was not one of them. It's just so very... Fortunately. So Epstein's murky life as an accused sex trafficker has been a topic of intense public interest and speculation since his death by suicide five years ago. He didn't... That wasn't... Partly due to Trump's past association with the late financiers and sex offender who also had links to high-profile Democrats like former... Uh, President Bill Clinton. Rumors about a list of Epstein's clients have circulated. Rumors? Of course we know there's a list. Why do they say it like this? <laughs> Rumors. Well, of course there's I a list. there's a list of clients. You mean powerful people he's blackmailing on behalf of the Holy yeah, Land Yeah, they, they put clients in quotes. Though there's no evidence such a document exists. Really? I guess he was the Mossad James Bond. So Wow. So he kept all this client list in his head then. A lot uh, of people, a lot of people to keep in your Various head. court <laughs> documents related to sprawling Epstein legal saga have been unsealed, including the names of many of his associates. So there was a list of his associates, but there just isn't a client list, really. Nowhere there, is there. Okay, he's not a, uh, he's not, pimp. first of all, the girls are free at the island, so it's not a client list. That's when you have a business. His business is blackmail. You don't call those your clients who are his victims of blackmail that did foul shit at his island. That's the list. So even calling it a client list is a, a misdirect. Uh, let's listen, listen to what else he says. Why do you think so many smart, powerful people allowed him to get so close? Um, he was a good salesman. He was, you know, was a hail and hearty type of guy. <laughs> and he had some nice assets that he'd throw around. A hell and a hearty kind of guy. I like how he, people. he's nice assets. He's got some nice assets that he can throw out. You mean like underage sex slaves? You mean that kind of thing? <laughs> or well, whatever you're into. It could be maybe you like a, hey, maybe you're President Barack Obama and you want a guy who 
take home and they could die in a naked paddleboarding accident later. N- nice assets. <laughs> nice is that yeah, a, a, nice assets. Videos of powerful people having sex. Uh, you know, that's like a nice asset. Oh, did you guys see uh, Tyler does an impression of the interview of Theo and Trump? No. Because he says it was not a good interview. And it, it's one of the funniest things is Theo saying things to Trump and Trump not getting the joke. I, I can't even repeat it. I can't really do it. It's fucking great. Oh, no. I, is it on a video or is he just do it live? I think he just put it up. He should put it up pretty soon. Okay. Uh, <laughs> recommend it. Hey, come see us on tour. Be in Duluth, Georgia, Jacksonville, Florida, Los Angeles, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. Mm-hmm.